right, so I got a grocery haul. Um, I decided to show you guys. This is from Aldi's and it was purchased via Instacart. So I thought I would just go through here and show you. I haven't done a grocery haul in a while. Um, ever since everything's going on with quarantine, we haven't gone out to the store. We've used Instacart. So first here you can see we got some chips. Um, I like the chips with the French onion dip. Just a little snack. We have some onions, cheese. We have cucumbers, spinach, which I like, not really anybody else. We got a bunch of grapefruits and oranges. The kids, um, obviously, you know, the kids snack throughout the day. I like to let them snack on fruit. So I get a couple different kinds each time we go shopping. We'll come down this way. I was in the mood for a burger. I haven't tried those yet, so we'll see. Got the buns. Um, we like to keep nuggets in the refrigerator because if we make something for dinner that the kids just absolutely don't like and they won't try, then we have these and then they're just easy to pop in the microwave. Corn is one of our favorites. We have some apples. And then we needed more um, mayo. This olive oil one is really good. And then pickles. This is actually a replacement. That's one of the things I'm sure you're familiar with Instacart, but if you're not, um, I'll just talk about it a little bit. You pick from the list what you want, you send it over, and then, <coughs> excuse me, you give them the authority to either uh, replace it if they can't find it, like find a comparable replacement, or if you say, no, I just want this thing, if they don't have it, I don't want it, then you get a refund. But this was a replacement one, which is fine. Um, we put pickles almost with everything. And then tomatoes. I like hard tomatoes. And these ones are really good for that. They don't get like mushy like the Rhinebite tomatoes. We have grapes, of course, more fruit. And I'm gonna go through and um, clean everything up before I put it away. And then my son likes these little cheeses, so I grabbed him those. And then we have the sliced cheese for sandwiches. We got some turkey, another kind of, couple kinds of cheese. These cheese right here I use um, in recipes, like if we do tacos or if I make baked ziti or um, lasagna, stuff like that. So I like to have these cheeses, and these hold well for a long time in the freezer too. So I like to buy a bunch at a time and then take it out when I need it. And then these, just another something um, quick to have and cook up. Um, you know, they're pretty good. I like the turkey ones. The beef ones are a little too... They're too greasy for my taste. We have some more oranges. Um, as you can see, I got two of those. The kids really like the oranges. And then I got some curly fries. And I am the big asparagus fan in the house, so I like to grab that too. We have ground turkey. We use this for everything. Anything you would use ground beef for, we use ground turkey. And then I got mushrooms. Um, I probably I showed you the grapes. And then I also got some fresh broccoli. Normally I get the frozen vegetables, which I still do get some of those, but I prefer fresh um, broccoli over the frozen broccoli. So let's see. Then butter. This is not the butter I normally get. I usually get unsalted butter, but that's okay. Um, we keep the butter on here and I put it in the freezer and we take it out as we need it. The kids, this is just to show you how silly kids are. They like these, but they don't like these. So these are the ones I prefer. So yes, I get two different kinds. So I can have what I like, they can have what they like, and they're eating their vegetables, so I am happy. And then this little medley mix here, they use for like stir fries and whatever have you like that. So that is, um, that's pretty much everything that we got. This was like a haul to, um, to fill in the spots that we needed. Uh, our, Fresh stuff was getting low, so that's what we got, like, you know, the cucumbers, the fruit, and all of that type of stuff. But overall, if I had to rate my experience with Instacart during this whole quarantine, I would say that it was very good. Um, there was an instance where, <clears throat> well, there was two things that happened that I didn't like. One was when you package the food, and I don't know if the Instacart person bags up the food. Well, no, at all these, the cashier i know for sure bags the food at tops um since they've changed over from the plastic bags i don't know you know if the instacart person went through self-checkout or went through the cash register but point being um my order from tops had raw meat in it with the produce which is a no-no 
I really can't stand that. I don't know why anybody does it. So I did message Instacart about that and they did um, handle it. I think they gave me a credit. And then also there were some items that were um, not in good condition as far as like produce. And they did give me a refund on those items. And then one other instance was, um, I think something was, was rotten. Oh, it was the mushrooms. Like they were completely like, you could go like this, it was like liquid and they were completely rotten. And so they gave me a refund on that and they gave me a, a free delivery. So if they definitely, um, if you have a problem, they definitely respond very quickly and get everything taken care of for you. So this is my, um, kind of a, a smaller grocery haul for from Aldi's for our necessities. Um, we just like to keep everything stocked up so um, we have plenty plenty of food and you know plenty of snacks and stuff for the kids. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye!